Hi students, I think the part of straight lines that we have done till now will give you a quite of interest in this chapter. So moving further, in the next part we have congruency of straight lines and the position of a point with respect to a point. We will see if a point is lying above the line and lying below the line, what are the mathematical conditions that we can look into. So stay tuned to get the further details. Position of a point with respect to a line, it is one of those concepts in straight line which is very useful where you want to club the questions of quadratic functions with a straight line because this is going to talk in terms of inequalities rather than equalities. So let us see what this concept is specifically. Let the given line be ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So we have a straight line. Suppose this line is represented by this and this point will be nothing but minus c by a comma 0 and this point will be nothing but 0 comma minus c by b. You will get these points by putting y equals to 0 for this and x equals to 0 for this. So this is we have got the point. Now we have a point alpha and beta whose position we have to check. So for that what we have to do we will take the point suppose point p alpha beta is over here. So we'll draw a line perpendicular on the x-axis. As this will be a line whose equation will be nothing but x equal to alpha. As you can see the value of x is always going to remain alpha on this line. And so the point at which this line is going to intersect the given line, the x coordinate will be alpha. And if the x coordinate is alpha, we can find out the y coordinate by putting x equal to alpha in this equation after we put the value as alpha for equal to x in this the value of y will be nothing but minus a alpha plus c upon b now take this value as beta dash now the comparison is very simple if the beta which is given is greater than the beta dash the geometry will tell you that point P is going to lie above the line. Let us give it a different color and that to yellow. If this is going to be the condition, the point is going to lie above the line. If it is equal to 0, this point will satisfy on the line. And if this is less than, the point will lie below the line. So this you have understood. And now suppose I am taking it as an example y equals to mx is plus c is the line and y minus mx minus c will be the function in terms of line. So if we will put values of x and y and y is greater than the y dash which is required. So this will give you the y point and this is suppose the y dash. If it is greater than 0, you will get a point which is above the line and if it is less than 0, you will get a point which is below the line. So we will use this concept to determine the position of two points with respect to a line.